resource and cost leveling. Before you submit or approve a time schedule, be sure it is reasonable. It does not make any sense to have 100 worker in one week and next week a jumbo of 300 workers extra need. Then one week after, you reduce the worker to 50. For example, try to make the manpower chart. This will affect the cost as well, smooth as possible by moving the activities within their free flows. Let's see how to check this in Promovera and how to move activities within their free flows. This is our schedule. Let's go and see the resource usage profile. We are now uh, uh, selecting the carpenter. If you see here that at the month of February, let's enlarge this one. Month of February and March, you have the peak. So I need to move little bit if it is not critical the the activities in February and March in order to reduce the manpower here let's go and see the carpenter the carpenter of course in PC concrete we are looking for February and March in between these two months going down between these two months if I find anything related to the carpenter not red so this this mean I cannot do anything in this because they are both red here it is red slab on gray it is red so I cannot do anything and here the ground floor column is red red mean is critical and I cannot play with the critical activities. For Mason, Mason for example, I have here in the February, February I have the, my peak in the February. So I think I can do something here. Because this schedule is not fully loaded with the resources, so this may be not very uh, accurate, but I'm giving you the idea. So you have to select a resource by resource and check where is the peak resources and try to shift the activity in this area or this month is within their flows if it is uh, possible to just make this resource chart a smooth to be ha to have a smooth shape and as well as the cost of course when you making the resource chart smooth it will reflect on the cost so from here from the resource usage profile check every resource you have and try to make it smooth as possible by moving activity I mean how you can move activity within their float something like masonry work here you can move it from the relationship this is this is not red it is green so you can move it by adding a lag to to its relationship let's say adding 10 days lag and then you run your schedule and it will be shifted 10 days without affecting the overall completion date this is what I mean by moving the activities within their floats so I hope you now find out how to uh, make the leveling of the uh, resources and this will automatically reflect it on the course and see you in the next lesson